Hey guys, so um, after talking with my new husband about a lot of things and about a lot of stupid things that he's done, I've realized that there are a ton of things that guys just don't understand. And they're kind of really basic things, so I hope you guys get a good laugh out of this video, and if any guys are watching this, I hope you learn something. First, I want to start out with, so I moved in with, well, he was my boyfriend at the time. No, he was my fiancé. We were engaged, so we moved in together to an apartment, and the first month rolls around, and I say, oh, hey, we got to pay rent so we can live here. And he's like, well, how do you do that? And I, he's like, can you just do it online? And I was like, well, it charges you like 40 bucks if you want to pay it online, so how about we just write a check? So he gets out of his checkbook, and he says, how do I do this? And I was like, how do you write a check? Like, this is what was around before debit cards and credit cards. Everybody knows how to write a check. I mean, didn't you get a check for your birthday or Christmas? Didn't everybody ever give you money? And he's like, well, yeah, but I don't know how to write one. So I showed him how. And then the next month rolls around, and he doesn't remember how to do it. And I was like, honey, there's a carbon copy. There, It shows you line by line everything that you wrote from the month before. Can't you just copy it? Oh, okay. Where do I sign it again? Is it this one? And I was like, no, don't sign that one. It'll make it invalid. So I'm going to show you how to write a check. So you take your check, and because I'm not stupid, I blacked out all the information that's really important. This will be your check number up here, and so the bank knows all the order of your check. So if it says like 101 and then 102, and all of a sudden you're jumping to 197, they're going to say, what's gonna hap what happened to all those checks? What did you do with them? This down here is your bank account and routing number. So before you go off showing people all your checks and asking everybody in the neighborhood how to write a check, please be careful because that's kind of important, and that's how you can get your identity stolen. Up here is your name, your address, where you live. Okay? And then somewhere on the check is probably going to be your bank. I have USAA. It's got their address and some phone number, maybe a fax number. I don't know. It's got some stuff on there. Okay. So, this top line up here is the date. So, we're going to say that it's January 1st, 2010. Very old check. You can't cash it even if you wanted to. So, January. You can abbreviate. First. I don't remember the year. We'll say 2010. Maybe that's what I said. And look, right there it says, whoop, date, January 1st, 2010. Date. It tells you where to put it. Now, pay to the order of. That's this big, long line that you first have up here. Pay to the order of. Who are you giving the money to? Okay, are you giving it to your apartment complex? Are you giving it to your grandma? Write it down. So I'm going to pay to the order of myself. I didn't put a last name. Usually you have to have a last name. You could write to the order of cash so that they can only cash it. But then anybody who finds the check can cash it. So I don't really like that idea so much. And then in this nice little box here, that has a dollar sign, you put how much money you want to give the person. 20 bucks sounds good. I'm going to give myself 20 bucks. I deserve 20 bucks. I like to make a little line under my zeros so that way somebody can't come along and change it. So I wrote $20. Okay? Now this next line under here that ends with the word dollars underneath where you wrote the dollar amount is where you literally have to spell out how much you want to give somebody. Okay? So you have to write the word twenty dollars. Some people don't write the word dollars because dollars is right there. I was taught to do it anyways and then to add in the change. So I mean if you just have a whole dollar amount, just write the word and then draw a line because I was told you draw a line so that somebody can't scribble it out and change the amount and, you know, change your check and how much money you're giving them. And then I put and zero, zero over 100. Zero, zero because I'm not giving myself any cents over 100 because there's 100 cents in a dollar. So if you put 99 over 100, you get 99 cents. Make sense? 
and then my snazzy little line so nobody can write anything afterwards. Okay. There's this nice little word that says for. Sometimes it says memo right here. What's it for? You don't have to write anything in there. You can leave it blank. It's totally up to you. I'm going to write for... Don't find that line. The line next to it, right here, oh, I'm sorry, right here, this little backwards computer screen is throwing me off. Mine says MP, okay? That's where you sign it. If you do not sign it, your check is not valid. Boom. That's how you write a check. You give it to the bank, you cash it, you deposit it into your check, blah, blah, whatever life goes on. Okay. Lesson number two for today. When your girlfriend, fiance, wife, somebody tells you something, first of all, she's a woman. She probably knows what she's talking about. If it's anything kitchen related, she definitely knows what she's talking about, okay? So when you come up to her and you say, hey, we're out of uh, dishwasher detergent washer stuff. Can I just put regular dishwashing soap in there, you know, the kind in the big bottle? And she says, no. Yes, she's probably sure. You don't have to say, are you sure? Because it's for washing dishes. Yes, I am 100% sure that you cannot put your regular Dawn, Ajax, whatever dish soap into the dishwasher. What happens when you put high pressure water onto a little bit of soap, especially in liquid form? What happens to it? What happens when you add bubble bath a little bit of liquid soap to high pressure water in the bathtub. What happens? A bunch of bubbly, foamy stuff comes out, right? Okay, same concept. It's going to happen to the dishwasher. So what happened was, my fiancé asked me, can I do that? And I said, no. He asked me if I'm sure, and I said, I'm absolutely sure. And his face went like this. Oh. After I told him what would happen. So he quickly shuts off the dishwasher, he tries to clean it all out, I told him make sure you do an extra good job because that stuff gets everywhere, and he says okay, and then he leaves it for a little bit, and he comes back, and he puts um, the dishwasher packets in the dishwasher and starts it up again. I told him, do a good job, make sure you clean it out right, and then I double check, honey, did you do a really good job, did you get all of it out? Yeah, yeah, I got it all of it out. I spent a lot of time. I cleaned it real good. Okay. Okay. Just checking. So, I look in. I check in after like three minutes after the dishwasher started. Nothing's coming out. I think, fine. He says, hey, come watch this TV show with me. I say, okay, let's sit and watch TV on the couch. Well, I get up to go to the bathroom. Didn't notice anything. I turn around, come back. I look into the kitchen. And it basically was a field of white in there for a good distance. So I called him in, I made him clean it up, and uh, he doesn't touch the dishwasher anymore. Okay, so, lesson number three. Guys, in the kitchen, if you don't know how to do something, please, for the love of God and all things holy, just ask. Call your mom, call your sister, call your cousin, call your aunt, call your grandma, call your girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever. Call someone, okay? You're just wrecking stuff. I went out of town to see my family for a couple of days, and um, I had just taught my uh, fiancé at the time how to make hamburger helper. First time I brought out the hamburger helper box, I said, here, you're going to help me make this, I'm going to teach you how to do it. And he said, says, brown the hamburger. And I was like, yeah, brown the hamburger. He goes, I don't know how to brown a hamburger. Okay, the hamburger. You take it out of the fridge, freezer, whatever. What color is it? It's pink. Yeah, I know. What happens when you cook hamburger? It turns brown, gray. Yeah. Brown the hamburger. Cook the hamburger. That's what it means. Okay. So, I left. I went out of town. I left him out some of his favorite hamburger helper. I had plenty of uh, hamburger in the freezer, and I figured that everything was going to be okay. It was going to be fine. No big deal. He could feed himself <laughs> and not go out to eat every day. So, I come home, and my best pan... The only one that I have for making like stuff that's a little bit soupier and needs liquid and has the high edges, girls probably know what I'm talking about. It's a really nice pan and it's big and it's 
perfect for hamburger helper or homemade spaghetti sauce. It's got all these scratches inside. So I asked him, what happened to my pan? And he says, well, when you were gone, I wanted to make some hamburger, so I took it out of the freezer and I put it in the pan. And the ends of it were coming off and they were cooking really fast and the hamburger was burning, but the inside was still frozen, so I took a butcher knife and I tried to cut it apart. <laughs> you what? You took a butcher knife to the pound of hamburger and tried to saw it apart in my beautiful, unscratched pan? Well, yeah, I had to get it to cook so I could make the hamburger helper. <sighs> so I told him, honey, look above you, what do you see? A microwave. Yeah, a microwave. Do you see this little button right here? It's not actually that small, it's about the same size as all the other buttons. Yeah. What's it say? Defrost. Okay. Defrost. Make it not frozen, not frosty, however you want to say it. Take the hamburger, put it in the microwave, which is above the stove. Press defrost. When it says meat, poultry, like poultry, chicken, same thing, thing. Meat, poultry, fish, whatever. Oh, it even says other. One, meat. Two, poultry. Three, fish. One. Now it says weight. Zero point zero. How much is the hamburger? One pound. One point zero. Start. Begin. Enter. Whatever you got. Look! It magically turns on. And it's not super high heat, so it's not cooking and it's just thawing it out. And then when you take it out, you have this thaw, not frozen, ready to cook hamburger. You can turn it into hamburger patties, meatballs, whatever. Then you put it in the pan and it cooks all even and nice and you can break it up into the pieces that you want it to be in. Oh. Makes sense. If I didn't love you so much, I would strangle you. Okay? You ruined my dishwasher. My best pan. You don't know, you don't know how to pay rent on time. I really love you, honey, but some of the stuff you do is just ridiculous. And I'm sure there are plenty of women out there being like, God, my husband did that to my dishwasher, too. I totally remember that. I made a huge mess everywhere. It ruined stuff. Or like, that one time he ruined my really good pan trying to cut up stupid something in there. Just hit the defrost button. Like, women think that this is super, super simple. You know, we we know how to do this for forever. You know, we were 5, 10, 12 years old helping our moms cook. Hey, put this in defrost for such and such an amount of time. We've understood this for forever. I think that we forget that men, while we were inside cooking, we're out playing video games, hunting something, playing cowboys and robbers, cowboys and Indians, whatever, out in the backyard. So they didn't actually learn any of the stuff that we learned. So when they make a mistake, we're like, are you dumber than a box of rocks? <laughs> but really, they are trying. I mean, he tried. He tried to cook himself dinner. He tried to do the dishes for me, and he tried to be able to pay rent. But I would have much rather he asked about the hamburger and asked before putting the Dawn dish soap in the dishwasher. As for the check part, he really didn't know what he was doing, and I was doing it at the same time, so he kind of had to ask me. Guys, just ask a woman. Any woman. She's going to know how to help you out. She's going to know how to fix it. And then, first of all, she taught you the way she does it, which means that technically you're doing it the right way. And secondly, she's not going to be ticked off because you didn't wreck anything because you asked her first. Save yourself the trouble. Save us the trouble. Save us the pulling our hair out. Just ask. And rant.